Hey guys, this is Mike from 60 Clicks, and today we're reviewing the Zin 556, an entry level Flieger style watch from the German tool watch brand Zin. Zin is well known for its innovative use of technology like oil filled cases and submarine hardened steel, but this is really just a basic pilot's watch. The 556 comes in a couple different variants. The 556A, which has Arabic numerals at 3, 6, and 9 and the 556i, which is the model that we're reviewing today, which is just the basic dial, and also comes in a couple different varieties of leather and metal straps. Pilot watches are traditionally very large, uh, but this one is actually fairly small at 38.5 millimeters in diameter. The thickness is under 12 millimeters, so it's quite easy and comfortable to wear, although it still maintains a fairly masculine presence on the wrist, which I like. The style itself is sort of a modern take on the uh, German Flieger, which is uh, highly legible, black and white, uh, but they've really stripped down everything except for the essential, uh, the markings, the hands, and the date. It's got a screw down crown, which gives it 200 meters of water resistance, which is comparable to a lot of dive watches, really cool feature. On the back, you have a sapphire case back, which exposes the, the decorated movement. It's actually quite beautiful to look at. On the case back, you've got some engravings with these uh, German words that I won't try to pronounce, uh, but they translate to stainless, uh, anti-magnetic, and shock resistant, which make this uh, a very robust watch and one that I enjoy wearing on a daily basis. The movement itself is quite beautiful and provides a really nice contrast to the stark minimalism of the dial. Um, you know, it's a top grade ETA 2824-2. Um, there have been reports of different grades of movements being used in different SIN 556 model years, uh, but the one I have is the top grade model. Um, you can see that SIN did quite a bit of customization to this movement, including the branded and gilded SIN rotor, which has some really nice finishes. And you've also got these heat-tempered blue screws used to attach the movement and it's just a nice little detail that makes it more interesting to look at. As I mentioned before, the 556 comes in a couple of different strap options. Uh, the first being the stainless steel, and this is the version that I have. I think it really uh, completes the tool watch look, and it's extremely comfortable. Uh, if you want something a bit more dressy and uh, a couple hundred dollars cheaper, it does come with a black leather strap as well. One of the main knocks I have on this watch is the loom. It's not great, it's pretty dim. Part of that is a function of the surface area of which the loom is applied, but uh, it doesn't last long and it's fairly below average for watches in this class. Another nitpick I have for this watch is the 556 comes shipped with uh, anti-reflective coating on both the inside and the outside of the crystal. Now I've actually removed the coating on mine because over time it develops a lot of small scratches and eventually just becomes unreadable. It's sort of a weak link in an otherwise robust construction. Now, even though I have a couple of nitpicks with the loom and the AR coating on this watch, uh, this really is one of my favorite watches to wear. Uh, there's something about the simplicity of the dial and case that I just never get tired of. It's super tough, uh, I can take it underwater, and it's just a really fun watch to wear. The price on these watches has gone up quite a bit in the last few years. Um, although you can get one new now, I believe, for around $1,200. So I hope you enjoyed my review. Please like or subscribe and head over to 60clicks.com for more.